spending over 30 days in Tokyo. I signed with West Management. in Shibuya and yeah I'm gonna live out my Tokyo dreams this is my minor preparation for Japan everything's sitting on top of my suitcase not in it yet um we'll get there right now we're slowly we're not stressing ourselves out you know um, I've made some purchases, so all my necessities are going to be with me, and I will have a great time. Um, I'm really the person that, like, needs their everyday things, you know? Um, basically, some funny things I got is, um, my favorite coffee shop is Cyclops, and this is my favorite coffee, and I'm not gonna be able to have it for a while. So, I'm bringing it in grounds and going to put it in a cold brew, um maker so that i can have my coffee from home <laughs> i then have my heating pad for periods this is my white noise machine i sleep with white noise this is on amazon it's only 18 dollars air tag for my luggage and then for my keys when i arrive portra a big boy for my adventures these are my arts and crafts my crayons my pencils my scissors we have all my journal books um yeah and here we made some orders for certain things like nipple pasties and um tan underwear we will get packing soon it is may 15th i'm packed tomorrow i direct my first music video <laughs> and then i'm off and out of here This is my official day one in Japan. I truly had a really restless night. Um, it was raining yesterday and when I arrived and everything was just, get, even getting to my apartment is just so overwhelming. I think just being so excited, knowing how awesome of an opportunity this is, um, being in such a crazy place like Tokyo, Everything, all those emotions together created, like, this, like, super, like, and I don't want to say sad, but I think just, like, an uneasy feeling of just kind of, like, holy shit, this is really happening. Like, this, what I'm doing is something I've dreamed of doing for, like, years. I mean, like, it's, like, literally insane. <laughs> I think that's, that's where, like, the emotion comes from mainly is obviously happiness and being able to have such an amazing opportunity and maybe just feeling overwhelmed by it um but yeah i'm just documenting my journey and i'm bringing you guys along um there's not tons of videos on youtube being a model in japan as someone that was looking for them before she came i think it's honestly comforting to have someone to watch that like just shows you what it's gonna be like and yeah i'm that girl <laughs> so yeah so today it is currently 5 a.m um yeah jet lag it's like midday in LA, so I'm like, fuck. So, staying in bed till like 7, and then I'm gonna get out on the streets. Um, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna walk to this park that's like an hour away, but I'm not just gonna go straight there. I'm gonna head that direction and like slowly make my way there. 
Maybe stop at some stores along the way. And yeah. But yeah, I'm going to spend this day just settling in and really just enjoying myself. Um, I don't want to be stressed. I don't want to walk fast. Like, I just want to enjoy myself and realize that this is for me. This is everything that I'm doing is for me. This is my choice. So, like, I'm really trying to get in my head, like, girl, this is for you. This is everything you've always wanted to do. Take advantage of it. Live the shit out of it. Learn from it. Like, when when I'm feeling sad, someone like last night, I'm like, okay. So, the way I felt last night, I need to spend some time today figuring out why I felt that way. And... And writing it down, figuring it out, and learning from it, and growing. I am in the agency van on my way to my second casting. Is this a different car? Oh my god, it is. Normally the seats recline. Um, literally insane. I love them. Ada sent me stuff for my little model apartment and I think that's so sweet and generous because it's going to make me feel more like, you know, at home for my working time here. And I find that super sweet that they even care, to be honest. I'm literally screaming. This is about to make this room so cute. I'm literally screaming. Thank you, Zada. Like, literally, I don't even know what to say. Happy. <laughs> um, so, let's do a big cover. This shit's always so fucking hard. My Mickey. <laughs> she's she's a new addition. My corner. <laughs>
It's so cool, but like I'm just a terrible videographer. Oh my god, baby in a cave. Well, wow, am I distracted and have not been vlogging. Um, day three in Tokyo. Everything is so amazing. Um, I have been vlogging so much on TikTok, which, go follow my TikTok. Um, anyways, day one was really hard for me. I just needed a second to adjust and get used to things. Obviously, the language barrier, stuff like that, really like threw me for a fucking loop. I was like, holy shit. Obviously, I'm new, but like, I kind of like felt like useless, which is super funny. Um, I've been journaling the way I felt and really trying to grow from the way I f feel. Like, all the complications I'm having and all the things that are making me feel weird, I've been trying to be like, okay, this is normal and this is expected. How can we learn from this? So basically, I'm obviously using this entire experience as a learning opportunity, which it is. Uh, it's a learning opportunity and it's a just total opportunity in general for me, my work, and everything that I do. Um, Tokyo is such a creative bubble and I think for someone that does, I think for creatives this is such an amazing place to be and absorb all of just the art and culture and just everything the stylist the photographers the makeup artists the hairstylists everyone is just so cool like everything is just so real here uh, things are just different I think the industry is different in general like you don't have to be Kendall Jenner to book folk you know what I'm saying like it's not about that here like no one cares like it's like it's amazing truly it's amazing and that was like totally off topic but also, like, I love the fact that no one knows me here. I can walk down the street with my headphones in, singing Lana Del Rey. They also have no idea what I'm saying because I'm speaking English. Um, but yeah, truly it's amazing. I'm in my little model apartment, romanticizing it, of course, what I do best. Um, here's my little picture wall that's just gonna grow with memories. Uh, yeah, I've already been to, like, two of the major parks. I've been adventuring so much to the point where, like, my shins hurt. <laughs> So that's great. So today I'm like relaxing. I have a casting at seven, my first one. Um, I shoot Metal Magazine on the 25th, which I'm really, really excited about. And I think just from there, everything's just gonna skyrocket. And I'm excited to just bring you guys. Um, I think something that YouTube, TikTok, and social media lacks is what a model on a work visa in a foreign country like Tokyo is like because 
when I found out I was coming here, I couldn't find anything besides like two videos about this whole entire experience, which I find crazy because I think it's like literally the most interesting thing in the world and that's why I'm so excited to share my experience and bring you guys along with me because like if this is something like you guys, some, literally anyone can do this and if you were doing this, it's so nice to be able to look up a video and have a video to watch and like just truly makes you feel more comfortable like there's literally nothing on the internet about just being a foreign model in a place like tokyo so i'm excited to be the video <laughs> you guys know i am a creative or content creator whatever you want to call me i guess some people could call me a model but in LA, I don't do modeling. Um, I do my own modeling, right, on my social media, but I'm not a model in LA, so me being offered a position to be a model in a place like Tokyo was such a crazy, cool, amazing opportunity for me. Follow along. Dude, the scales. I need an accurate review though. <laughs> yeah. That looks like Nutella. I'd say I like that it's not so sweet. 